everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you my master bathroom. It's right off of my master bedroom. Okay, so when I first walk into the bathroom, first thing I see is my tub over here. And as you can see, I have it uh, decorated to be able to come in here and relax. When I get home from work, I love to come in here and take a bath. Now, what I've done here around the tub is I've tried to create a very relaxing environment by putting in these two big candle holders right here. Um, I got those two from Ross and I have two blue candles sitting on top and the candles are sea salt and minerals. Um, they smell really, really good. It's a fresh scent. Uh, the Relax sign, I got that from Burlington Coat Factory. And then in the corner here, I have three apothecary jars and I have soap and I have Epsom salt because that's the main two things that I use when I take a bath. But I also have over here, I have a larger apothecary jars with a lot of soap in it. And I just have a faux plant and then I have a bath bomb. Now that bath bomb, my daughter just bought me that for Mother's Day. And so I'm getting ready to use that. And I know that's gonna be wonderful. Now up here, I have these two towels. Now the towels are coming off black, but they're actually a navy blue, which goes with my curtains over here, which seem to look a little bit purple, but they're actually a navy blue uh, with a mixture of light blue and white. And that's a great compliment for that. And I didn't want, since I had the flowers on the curtain, I didn't want to do too much of a pattern on the, um, on the towels, because then that would be kind of like they would conflict each other. So if I have pattern on the curtains, then I usually do like a solid or I do a stripe in the same colors on the towels. And that always seems to work out. And then up here, I have this beautiful um, silver clock that I got from Marshalls. And it's not really coming off on the camera how beautiful this clock is. I'll see if I can get closer to it. Um, but it's a really, really heavy and beautiful um, material. It's metal is actually made out of a, uh, uh, I believe it's stainless steel. Very, very pretty, very heavy. And I absolutely love the style of it. Love it. Now, one thing that I have here that's an organizational hat. If you have a soaker tub like this, uh, and you really want to enjoy this tub, I highly recommend um, getting a bath caddy. Um, so that when you get in the tub, you know, you don't have to worry about your, your wine slipping off the side of the tub or, you know, your, if you want to read a book while you're in or look at a magazine like I like to do, you have somewhere that you can have everything organized. Because this organizer right here is by Lux and it's made out of bamboo, and so which means it's water friendly. It can get wet and nothing will happen to it. It can hold your wine glass, like I have here. And then it can hold your magazine or your book. It's got this right here that goes back and forth. And then you can put your soap right here. There's a soap dish on it as well. Now this is a great way to organize everything while you're taking a bath. And then that way you don't have to worry about where am I gonna put the wine glass? Where am I gonna put the soap? You know, things are slipping off and possibly slipping in the water. And you definitely don't want that. So this is a great organizational idea. And um, I'm gonna have a link in my description box where you can pick up one of these and check out some more information about this uh, bath caddy. Okay, let me keep going around the bathroom. Up here, I just have this basket that I got from Ross a while ago, probably a couple of years ago, and I just keep extra towels in there because I do not have a, um, I don't have a linen closet in here, and so that's why I keep all my extra towels and washcloths. 
Um, over here, I just have another glass jar with some potpourri in it. And that smells really, really good. I got the potpourri from Ross, like over here. And over here, I have these two pictures set up here. And these two vases, and I just put some towels in between. Um, these two these two pictures were actually a steal that I got from Ross. They were only, I believe, $11.99 each. So you can definitely decorate your bathroom on a budget. You don't have to spend a lot of money. You can do like one or two investment pieces and then decorate around that. So this shelf, I actually made this shelf myself. I went to Lowe's and I just had them cut down um, a piece of wood for me and I just took my black paint and I painted it and then I put um, a uh, protective coat over it and then I went to Lowe's and I got these two brackets right here and I attached these two brackets to the shelf and this ended up being much more affordable than going into Target or one of those other stores and buying a, a big shelf like this. It would probably cost me about 40 bucks for a shelf this big. So that was definitely a great way to save some money. Right here, I just rolled up some towels to give it that spa feel. And I got the basket from Walmart and I've had that for a long time. Okay, so I wanna show you this hook that I have over here. This is by um, the brand Geico, and I will have a link in my description box where you can go and check this out if you're interested in something like this. This hook doesn't require any screws, um, any tools or anything. You just basically, um, all you have to do is, is unscrew it like that, and I've already used the adhesive sticky back that it came with to apply it here on my shower. And all you have to do is push it here and tighten it up as tight as it can go. And once you do that, it can hold up to 44 pounds. So you can put a robe on here, you can put towels on here, anything you wanna put on here and it's not gonna fall off, okay? Even if it gets wet, it's not gonna fall off. So this is a great product. It's made out of stainless steel and chrome. It goes good with the rest of my bathroom. So I will have the link in my description box where you can go and check this out as well. I wanna show you my light fixtures over here. Um, and it's really hard to film what they look like. I got these from Lowe's. They are really beautiful. I have these in my other bathroom as well. Um, I'm going to do a separate video showing you how I organize under my cabinets and everything. But right now, let me show you what's on the counter. So I had all the outlet covers switched out. I changed them all to chrome. And I've had them like that for a couple of years now. I got it from Lowe's. Um, I also changed out the faucets in here to a nice chrome color because that's what I love. Um, these soap dispensers over here if you can see that I got those from Marshalls and I love the quatrefoil print that's on them um, I have a couple of blue candles over here as well as a jewelry box because when I get out of the shower when I get in the shower I usually take my jewelry off and I just throw it in that jewelry box until here let me back up a little bit yeah, so I have these flowers here and a couple of candles. And these candles smell really good. I have not um, I have not burned them yet. And then over here I have the same um, soap dispenser. And then I have the um, toothbrush holder and toothpaste holder and sitting in this little tray. Also up here, I changed out those outlet covers. And this is a um, this is a wallflower from Bath and Body Works. This one is actually eucalyptus rain, and that has a really fresh and beautiful smell. So that's awesome. Okay, guys. So I did use my um, so for my cabinets. My cabinets used to be a honey oak color, and I did use my General Finishes uh, gel stain in Java. 
and I used that also on my kitchen island that I did a while ago. I decided to go with a really dark espresso look on this and I love the way this came out. Um, I'm going to do a separate video showing you guys um, how I organize in, the, in these cabinets and everything. That will be a uh, separate video on that. Okay guys, so this concludes the tour of my bathroom. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you picked up some ideas on how to decorate your master bathroom. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.